Um, I think we've already started. We've started. We didn't know it was cooking class and Tai Chi lesson rolled into one. But I'm going to announce these wonderful people um, officially because we have Chef, Master Chef um, Martin Yan here and we have Ying Kompenstein. And of course we have the great pleasure of continuing our food and wine festival with them. And isn't it wonderful that they've teamed up today? Yes? We're very lucky. This was yeah. something that they did throughout the cruise. So we're very, very blessed to present Ying and Yan. Supposed to wait. Okay, Martin, I'm waiting for you. Give me permission to come up. Ying and me, we all were born in China. We have the opportunity to come all the way to seek the American dream. And we are so fortunate, so blessed. So that's the reason why we're all here, want to share with you. And I would like to invite my good friend Ying. You know, in Chinese philosophy, it's about the, the yin and the yang. And I'm quite sure Ying can elaborate a little bit more about the philosophy of yin and yang in food and cooking. Okay. Well, before I do that, Martin, I have to tell, share with you guys a bit. I met Martin 20 years ago when I just started my writing career. I was working on my second cookbook. Martin was doing a PBS fundraising in Denver. So I was very nervous, a friend introduced us. Martin was so nice. After we talked for five minutes, he invited me and my husband for dinner. I said, how nice is that? So the whole time through the dinner, I was thinking, should I ask him to write me a foreword for my next cookbook or should I not? So I wasn't sure, you know, I've tried to be a good, polite Chinese person and I just, you know, we talk and then I just casually mentioned that I'm working on my second cookbook. Martin is so generous. She said, well, send it over. Uh, if I like it, I will write you a foreword. <laughs> you know what, Martin, just because you said that, I re-added my book five more times because I want to make sure you like it. So I send it over. Not only he liked it, he wrote me a wonderful foreword. He also sent me his wonderful life. I still have it in my kitchen. I don't know if you remember. I use this a lot in my kitchen. So anyway, Today, I think of one thing, you know, like Da, Martin, and I, we're all from China. We are passionate to introduce Chinese tradition and culture to U.S. One thing is, Martin, you can maybe share a bit of how you promote the Chinese tradition and the culture and the, encourage people to eat healthy. You probably know that in the early days, there's only three cooking shows. Graham Cares, Gallo Pink or May. French Chef, Julia Chow, and... Yen can cook, you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> um, we have been through a lot. We have the opportunity to travel around the world like Yen and like Da Chen. We travel all over the world. We have the opportunity to see, to experience all the wonderful things as well as things that is deprived. A lot of people in many parts of the world, they deprive of food. Most of the kids around the world, they go to sleep hungry. And we're so fortunate. And we were talking about food. In many places we travel, people eat this, eat this inert. They're not picky. And many of the young children now, they're very picky. They don't want to eat this. You go to the market, all you see is a piece of meat. You never see the whole animal. You never see the whole thing. So in many places, food is protein. One man's food is not as poison. Some of the things that we eat, some of the things that people eat around the world, we don't eat here in America because we are jaded in a sense that we don't see food as food. You go to many places, you never see, you go to the market in Mexico, you go to the market in Australia, in Adelaide, in New Zealand, in Europe, you see the whole animal, you buy by the pound. So all we try to do, Ying and myself, is try to encourage young people and people around the world to eat healthy, eat delicious and healthy food. At the same time, don't waste food. Yeah, well, Martin is good at it with his life and doing his cooking. That's his way. His TV show is so popular. All the kids love it. So the way I do it, I find with kids, is if you can get them involved into cooking and also add the aspect of story, this is the picture, just send it to me a um, week before I came on a cruise. My book, you know, uh, let's see. 
I told you, I write different genre. I have 20 books. Practically everything I do has something to do with food. So a lot of my children's books have a recipe at the back. So I introduce the Chinese tradition, Chinese culture through the food. And this is the kids from Hong Kong, an international school, and they, have a, they pick my book as the book of the school, and every, the kids dress up in, like a character, the runaway walk. So today, we all know how good Martin is with his knife and with his uh, you know, cooking. So I'm giving him a little challenge. So when we decided we're going to do this, I said, Martin, I am going to give you a little outline of one of my story, and you got to create a recipe. And we're going to have to see what he's going to do. So this is what I do. I travel around the world. I invited uh, to many, many international schools. This is in Singapore. The student, they will read my story, and they will cook it, and I will cook with them. And, you know, it's really rewarding to see all the boys get really excited cooking. Like, I'm not like mother. You see, he's doing all the chopping and cooking. I'm just here talking. Most of the times, I go to the school, I look really pretty, and I boss all the kids around. They make food for me, and they follow my recipe. And the girls, so this is one of their favorite non-life ludos. So this is my way to get the kids to eat healthy. And I want to share with you. People always ask me, where did you get the idea to cook your, your, write all these books? This is, I'll give you an idea, you know, a little background of one of my books. This is my son when he was young. I want teaching Chinese tradition, Chinese culture, and also I want to make sure he eat healthy. Instead of like those parents that eat your spinach, eat your vegetables, I said, no, I'm not going to be like a mother like that. So I cook with him. And he started cooking with me when he was three years old. Now this picture, this is the picture we took before the Halloween. And we're, about, we're making dumpling to go to a Halloween party, bring the dumpling. So now, I have a question for you guys. I was looking at my son, we're making the dumpling. I was thinking, if I'm a ghost, what would I like to eat? What would I like to put in my dumpling? Martin, what would you like to put in your dumpling if you're a ghost? I will put in things I love, like shrimp and spinach and healthy stuff. And maybe I don't want to eat myself. You think so? OK, yeah. anyone else? Come on, be, be creative. What would you like to eat if you're a ghost? Do you want to eat shrimp? Or what else do you want to eat? Raise your hand. I, want, I know you guys, uh, that's a uh, you know, writing workshop was so popular. And all those writers there, use your imagination. What would you like to put in your story, in your, your dumpling? What is it? Strawberry. Strawberry. Chocolate. OK, chocolate, well, that definitely. could be my next book. <laughs> Dumpling chocolate. Yeah. What about this? I look at my son. He's so cute. So I said, well, I'm going to write a story. If I'm a ghost, I would love to eat a choppy boy. What do you think? <laughs> so that's what inspired me to write this story. So long ago in China, in Beijing, there's a hungry ghost. He's so hungry. He's about, he was ready to eat anything. He was so lucky. And he spotted a choppy boy on the street. And that boy looked a lot like my son. You know, that's before he goes through the growth spurt, he got a little chunky, and he's very, you know, he's not overweight by any means, but he would, that's what he's like. And the ghost captured the boy and wanted to take him home. By the way, this is the book. I'm going to have a meeting with Google uh, after I go home. And they're talking about making this into an animated street uh, VR game and maybe a possible little computer game, a movie. I love it. All the boys love it. Madam, what do you think? Would you like to make the boy dumpling? That's what we're going to do today. We'll make the boy dumpling. In fact, <laughs> well, let's see if we can find In, <laughs> in <laughs> fact, we will hopefully, we will invite some of the, our friends and guests to come up here. Come up here? Yes. Well, let's see. Now, the ghost took the boy home, said, I'm going to eat you. So the boy said, are you going to eat me raw? And the ghost said, why not? And the boy said, but I think I taste much better if you cook me in the dumpling. And I know a great dumpling recipe. So I don't know if you guys can read that. So this dumpling is, you need a warming, yeah, can you read it? Yeah, he need a warming cabbage, moldy dumpling wrappers, stinky garlic. So the ghost said, OK, but I don't have all this. 
So the boy said, first, before you go out to get ingredients, you have to give me a bath, and let me take a nap, and I taste best after I were rested. <laughs> and so the poor ghost, he run around, he is there to searching all the ingredients. Instead for me to, to tell you all the stories, you guys have to get a book. <laughs> and I'm very sorry to tell you, I don't have any, I didn't bring one copy of my book on board, but I know Martin have some left, and Da have some left, <laughs> you guys can do that. You know, when I was packing, I was thinking, shoes, clothes, or books? Guess what? I packed the shoes and the clothes. <laughs> so I didn't have any books, but you guys can go to any bookstore or Amazon, you can get that. Now, at, all my, at the end of all my books, this is what happened. The children, they read my story, there's a recipe they can cook with parents. I think, just like Melton said, right, the best time to do is family together this, we cook together. It is the, the, the you know, best way to spend time with kids. So what do you do to get kids to eat healthy? Uh, I think the key is, you know, kitchen should be a happy kitchen. And also it should be a fun place. So in my whole presentation, I always encourage the whole family to do it together. Give me an example. Now, things that looks very complicated, it's actually very easy. How do you mince the shrimp from one whole piece to this? All you have to do is you put it over here and use your knife. He's going to cut it. Oh, oh my goodness. Mash it, okay? And you go, mash. When you, after you mash it, all you have to do, and it's done. That's how fast it is. See, the best Instead part of cooking with Martin, he does all the work. Mash. Mash. Oh my goodness. And? Mash, and then by by the time you finish, you go. That's done. perfect, Martin. That's okay. so great. So these are basic techniques. Now I want to show everybody. We also have some spinach, which is already cooked. Simple ingredient, like you always promote about eating green tea or drinking green tea, and using green tea eating. in cooking. So what is so important, so good, and what is the health benefit of green tea? Well, green tea is high in antioxidant yes. and uh, high in vitamin C. Actually, one bag green tea equivalent uh, orange, so without the sugar. So you can eat a lot of green. And also added a great flavor in the, in, in the uh, food, right? You need a spoon? Do we have A lot a of times you see green tea ice cream. Green a lot tea, of yeah, it's so easy. That's a, that's you, can one buy, that you can buy packages of green tea. And you can also buy... In the, the loose container one. of yeah, green tea loose powder. One. Yeah. So what we do, we cut it up and put the green tea in here yeah. as a flavoring, as well as added some additional health benefit. You know what Martin is creating? So at the end of my book, I have a boy-free dumplings. Do you guys see that? So Martin is making the boy-free dumplings. Yep. So that's what, the, you know, I'm, so I can't possibly let a ghost eat my son. So the whole story is how the boy outsmart the ghost. Mm -hmm. So that's what Martin's making. The Here, spinach, chopped spinach, cooked spinach, green tea, and you ginger. can do the ginger. Ginger. Now, in order to have ginger without we having We have some leeks too, Martin. Yeah. We can put some leeks high in. Also crush the ginger. This way, there's no, so no fiber. All chop up, and then also a kind of tiny bit of onion or scallion to give that nice um, contrast. We have the soy sauce, and I also the... have some chop of some carrot. So this also adds texture and color. So everything you do is basically very very simple. And then the shrimp that we have chopped up, also put it right here. Look and at that. This is going to be so good. Here's some liquid. Mix them all up. And then put a tiny bit of sesame oil, sesame oil, a tiny bit of soy. Soy is actually better than salt. Why? Because not only add saltiness, add about 110 different flavor profile. And then you have, this is gluten free. You can also buy green cap, which it's is reduced healthy. sodium. Put a tiny bit of pepper, a tiny bit of pepper. And then okay. you mix it up. Oh, the spoon is right here? Yeah. You want the... Yeah. So, what do you think? Would the ghost willing to eat this instead of the boy? Now, Especially let me show you, it. there's so many ways to, that you can make 
make, um, you know, the, all the dumpling and uh, ravioli and wonton and, and pot sticker. I think what it started out is you have leftover stuff, whether it's vegetable or meat. Then you put them together. Then you use it as a stuffing so you don't waste anything. Now we have shrimp. Now you also, of course, you can have fish mousse. You can have scallop. You can have chicken. You can have any meat. You can have lamb. Mix them all up. Okay. Very, very healthy. So, Martin, you shouldn't do all the work. We're going to have some guests help us. Help we us will out. have not only help work with us. Yeah, work they're with not helping us. We because it's, uh, people cook together, stay together, right? Exactly. Yeah, very yeah. good. So now this is one ton wrappers. And we is, have some water here. We're going to dip this in is this the one. This one-ton wrapper. You can buy them in blocks like this. Then you can freeze them. What you do is you put tiny bit you of... You want to dip in the yeah, water? Tiny bit of over here, right in the middle. Okay. No. Okay. And then you use your hand. Wash your hand. Ah, and then you <laughs> snap this right here. Snap this, right? And then you turn it upside down and you snap this also right over here. All it's of a sudden, beautiful. you have a dumpling like this. Look at that. Now, right. you want to make it interesting. You can actually open this. Uh. Open this, open this, and open this, and open this. Like a salmon. Then you can make it, you can stuff caviar, <laughs> truffle, or topico right into this hole. Then no. you can have dumpling with four color, four season dumpling. Beautiful. So now we just do it like this. So this is one dumpling. Look at how beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. So we're going to invite some. Can I show first? Can I show them my fast okay. way? Okay. Modern, way yeah, it. modern is doing it very pretty. For me, you know, when I teach kids how to make it, I just say fast. Let's get to the, you know. Okay, this is what I do. I have a dumpling wrapper. I dip in the f the four corner, in the in the water, and put some filling here. I just gather and then all together. Pinch it. You know, the idea is I tell people is the goal is by the time you cook it and then by the time you, you know, the dumpling come out of the steamer or boil, they stay together, you achieve your goal. Then you work on how to make it. Another ready. alternative, <laughs> the yin and the yang. There are so, so many ways you can fold it. Yeah, this, so is, this, this is how they do the one ton. Okay, you fold it into a triangle. And then you... And then you use water on one side and you twist this one ton. Beautiful. And this then is the more traditional. And now you can make two tons. You put another one. Martin, I only have one way. I only know that one uh. way, how to do it. <laughs> My humble way. So now... Now this is another one. This is one that you can use it for deep frying. You do the same thing, except this one will be a lot more wrappers. So when you deep fry this, it's more crispy. Uh, more. So this is one, and this is two. And other way. <laughs> there are so many ways so, that you can, you can do like... Look at this. You hold onto this. You just pleat it. You pleat it here. You pleat it. Fold it. You fold it. You fold it. You okay, fold it. I'm good. You fold it. Oh, you're doing like a dumpling. You fold it. Then you can do a regular pasta dumpling. Yeah, nice. Okay. So there are so many ways you can do it. So let's invite somebody. Ying, let's invite some of yeah, our friends to come up here. That's a friend. I have yeah. a new friend I met yesterday, and I think she will be perfect. Come on up. And she even dressed up for this. I'm, give her a big hand. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Okay, the first thing is we need to wash our hands. So right here. We have wash water there just for you. So you can go wash your hands yeah. there. Wash your hand, the towel, sanitizer. Yeah. So yeah. when I teach children, right, uh, the first thing hand. is clean your hands. Good. And then we do a lesson on life, but not today. So the safety of in the kitchen. Okay, now you can dry your hand. There are too many, so many ways to do this. One, you can steam. Okay. One, you can poach. You can One, you can pan-fry. 
together. So we're going to do all three. Right, okay? So there's so many ways that you can prepare a dish. And then, in order to make it look beautiful, what happened is you can actually slice the carrot into thin slices. That like one this, is too thick. And put man. each yeah. one of these thin slice of these and one of these dumplings right on top. So we talk, we call it like a them. chair, right? Yes. A dumpling chair. Yeah. So, Martin, would you like me to teach her or would you like to teach her the complicated? Her... Okay, I'll teach her my simple way, right? Yes. So, this is what we do. You saw, we have one wrapper. You know, Martin's one is too fancy. Chef Martin, I can't even not, <laughs> I cannot even do that. That's all. This is That's all, easy it's way all to dry. Do it. So, this is easy, right? So, you dip the four corner in the water and try not to put too much filling in it. Otherwise, it's not going to close. Okay, so the we're going to... The key is... So you're going to uh, pinch it. You pinch this, pinch this, pinch it. Very simple. Very simple. And then we'll put on the, dump, the carrots chair. There. Very, very good. Yeah, you do. Now, during Chinese New Year, in many parts of China... Here you go, sweetie. During Chinese New Year, here the whole go. family will get together with the water. dumpling. Just the, yeah, just the corner. So very, very important very good. that the whole family get involved. Good. Okay. Put this on your hand. Yeah. Put some filling in. I'm going to pan fry some of these. You're going to pan fry? Put it here. The pan fry, you don't have to put the carrot. You pan fry this like yeah. this. Okay. In the middle. Okay. That's very you good. Put it right then here. Then you get it in together. You put it right here. And then the rest, we yep. steam it. You're doing great job. Or poach it. Pinch this way. We'll pinch this way too. Beautiful. Yep. yep. Just pinch it. Don't worry Pen about it. Pinch it first, and then yeah. use a tiny bit of water and yep. cover it up and pinch steam it. it. Finish cooking. Yeah, yeah very good. You did very, your good. First very good. Very nice. good. You did first very good. Very good. Keep it. Do one more. Here. And then put the rest on top of the uh, the carrot. And oh, then we can no, steam sure. this. Yeah. Let's we can do steam that. this. Yeah, you so go to make another one. And we can big big one until they're nice and golden brown everybody look nice and golden brown like this nice and golden brown and then this is all too this six, is nice six. and golden brown look at this everybody you go ahead. see yep. that so and then we put a tiny bit of water and then steam it this is how easy it make is make sure it's in the to middle do yep. the dumpling okay so pinch very good Perfect. Steam. She's cooking, getting steam. better and better. That's beautiful. Pinch, pinch more this way. Very okay, nice. Okay, now Martin, maybe you can teach her one of your fancy way. Okay. Now. Okay. Don't confuse her though. Very easy. <laughs> Very easy. You see? Okay. Here. First. Look at Chef Martin. See yeah, how he does watch. it. Watch. You can learn how to do this too. Very simple. You put the you put the filling in the middle, right? Then you put a tiny bit of water and the angle here. Okay. You fold it and you close it like this right triangle after you put triangle you put tiny bit of water on one end and you twist this right here you just fold it and you snap it and you have Beautiful. a one time okay good okay now let's now, do this that this is your turn we have very more simple we have more wrappers here this too. doesn't take too long to cook that's the beauty about cooking this dumpling. You want to start to put this uh, steam? You want to start steam, Martin? Yeah, let's steam it. Let's start steaming it. Okay. I will. You kept, keep at it. So you can pan fry. You know, you once you teach your kids steam. how to make it, yeah, very you good. can just set yeah. it up and you can go to watch yeah, your yeah. television. You or go walk out. It, when I come home, I still already like made this. all the dumplings. Squeeze it like this. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you twist it, okay? Very good. Put a tiny so. bit. Yeah, see? Put a tiny bit of water here. Did you get it? Yeah. Great. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Put, look at that. She did a great job. Look at this. Beautiful. So good the mother, job. you never have to Do cook again. One. Now she can Do just one. cook for you. That's why it's so good to have children to get involved. Yeah. It's the best way to get them away from computer again and the computer and spend time with you in the kitchen. And they tell you about their day. Madam, we could use some more thin sliced carrots. You want the thin slice of carrots? Thin slice of carrot. Very thin slice See of carrot. See how I cook? I make other people do the work. This is Yeah, thin. Okay, thin. I need, we need a few more. This is thin. Down. Thin slice. Yeah, keep at it. Come on. Yeah, you know what to do, right? Good. This way. 
So it's wonderful to get young yep, children yep. involved in, uh, in the kitchen. Beautiful. You twist. Very good. You slap over. This slap right on top of this. Look how beautiful this again. Look at that. This is, this is done too. You should show, that, show it off. Let's, let's, let's make sure they take a picture of you. Which one is the last one you did? Which one? Oh, Which beautiful. is the last one? This one? Okay, hold it up. Where's the photographer? Make sure. Here, I hold, show. hold it up like this. Here, here. Beautiful. Martin, come here. We need to have a picture with her. This is here, very nice. Yeah. Everybody can do it. Yeah. People cooks together, family cooks together, stay together. Okay, okay well, hold we need to call the other. Good. And you know what? Martin, should we give her the bear now? She's so great. Ooh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I didn't have my book, but I have a bear. And we're going to give her this bear, and the Martin and Look I both going to sign it. Look how wonderful this is. I'm going to show everybody. We're going to sign this for you afterwards. Look how wonderful. Hold the bear. You see? Thank you so much you for your help. It's all done. It yeah. all takes You want to make minutes. more? Or you don't? See this? Hmm? Very yeah. nice. Huh? Very easy to okay. do. Okay, thank you, dear. We will sign this the bear This pen fly. Just like okay. patch sticker. See? And actually, Let's this give her the big hand. I'm sorry, brown. Martin. Crispy. Wow, I'd love to help her. Good job. She is so good. Now, she will be the next Martha Stewart or <laughs> Rachel Ray. Yeah. And this is done. Is and that done? Okay, sure now we should start steaming then, this one then. This is so easy to do. And then, in order to garnish a little bit, all you have to do is chop up some wonderful tomato flowers. I don't know and I will show you how easy it is mm -hmm. to cut up some tomato flowers on this side. And then okay. everybody... Should we start steaming this? Yeah, let's now? steam it. Okay. And then in the meantime, we clean it up. And... And then garnish it. This is Tomato. Still hot. Garnish with a thin slice of. Now, knife has to be sharp. It's perfect. A dull knife is a much more dangerous knife, okay? And then when this is done, we line them all up. Oh, you want to do that one? Okay. We line them all up. So, what are the story you want to share with us? The yeah. story, okay. About food story, about life story. But I think before I share more story, we better remove the dumpling before it gets burned. Right? It's done. <laughs> so it's done. Yeah, it is done. Yeah. Let's use a clean, knife, uh, clean chopstick. This that is one nice. Let me show yeah. you how nice and golden that? brown this is. Okay. Oh, is that beautiful? It is really nice. It's translucent. Yeah, so this one is thin. Okay. This is so easy to do. And this is the So now you guys are all going home to cook with your kids and to cook with your grandchildren, right? And once you teach them, the best part is I have to show you guys a few pictures. Where's my clicker if I can find it? Perfect. Anyone know where my click is? I left it on the... Pass it around and take a look at how easy it is to... Okay. Then you can do it at home. Maybe you guys can just move it to the next slide one, next time. Oh, here, got it. So, so what I did is I taught my son, when he's two or three years old, can we bring, yeah, get on the, um, so when he became a teenager, I thought, hmm, before he leave for college, I'm gonna make him do more work for me. So we made him, I went and wrote a book with me together. And this is the one I just signed the contract with Hollywood. Uh, they're going to make into an animated film. So it's a secret terracotta soldier. Again, everything I do has something to do with food. So there's a recipe at the back of the book. So when we go do the promotion or school visit, we will also do the cooking together. So this is when we are signing a book at a big conference in New York. And this is at LA. So we cook together. So he's not a chef. He graduated from USC, now he's working at a high-tech company, but he loves to cook. It's almost in him now, so now he's cooking. And we just got a Vitamix not long ago. Now he's making me all kind of dinner, the Vitamix at home. 
So he's all grown up and like well trained. I keep telling people he would make a great husband. <laughs> so anyway, so I think the most important thing is to train them when they're young, get them involved, love cooking, and that's my website. If you want to look at my books or anything, just go to my website. So okay, well I know. Oh, one thing I have to say about Martin. I know he has just a few copy of book left. Uh, probably about eight copies. Eight copies. And I want. I'm not trying to promote. And also, Da have some book. What I want to say is, this is two very famous people, and you guys really should get their autograph, because about two months ago, I was uh, um, do give a talk at UC Davis, and they want me to sign many many books, and I really don't want to do it. And I said, do I have to sign all the thousands copies books? And the one of the teachers said, yeah, because I just looked up on you.、Uh, What、uh, what is that、uh, site that they sell the eBay? She said、uh, with your autograph book, it, they sell for twenty times more than it was. Can you imagine? Martin is a hundred times more famous than I am. His book is going to worth three hundred times more than what he's selling for. So and so is Da. So you guys should get that book. Anyway, anyway, not a promotion for you, Martin. Anyway, I want to show you, whenever. Well, I want to repeat this again. Whenever you cook with your knife, always make sure your knife is sharp. And when you cut, make sure you are total concentrate. And don't go to the vintage room, then have the wine pairing dinner, and then you cook. Always, always put the blade against your knuckle. This thing. Oh, so thin. Now the key, the key is this is actually a human food processor, cordless. That is so thin. The key is whenever you cut, make sure. Now you can actually use the knife to do all kinds of things. Give an example. You can go one, two. You can actually garnish. One, two, and then you just keep pushing. You just keep pushing, and then the tomato will come out like this. There are things that you can do with a big knife. Very, very practice makes perfect. Nobody can do it first time. Even the masters. All it takes is practice. You see this? When this is done, it looks like this already. It, it is so sharp. Okay, let us let us show you, and then you can also do it this time. One, two. Now, not only that, you can line it up, take it out, and just remove the skin. Okay. Not only that, you can cut it in half, and then you have one of these, and then you can. So simple garnish, everybody can do at home, okay? If you cut up enough boxes of, now, here, you can put it right here, and here you can put it here, and here you can put it here, just to show you how simple it is that you can do the dumpling, which is already steamed. You can get it right here. Dumpling, put it right over here. So there's so many different ways to enjoy cooking at home, cooking with your children, your grandchildren. Stay together, and then also have some right on the top. And then you know what? You can share. You can share. We can share and dip. This is basic sauce. Look at the basic sauce: sweet chili sauce mixed with tiny bit of soy sauce, and that's how you do it. Very, very simple. Mix it up, and then when you serve, you mix it more up and use as a dipping sauce, and you will be. Beautiful. Yeah. Make 
And another one of doing this is chop to make it even simpler. You just chop this up. Yeah. Much better than mine. Chop this up. Okay. Chop it really, really sprinkle it all over. Just chop them all up, sprinkle it right on top, and then put, put the sauce. Styling, right? This is that, right. And put the sauce right on top, and this is how you do it. You can either dip it in, Where's or the pan fried one. We can put the, the pan fried one is uh, somewhere in the audience. In the audience. I hope still and there. And then <laughs> this is how easy it is to create your own sauce. Oh. Very simple. So everybody can do this at home, and people cook together, stay together. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my good friend, Yin. The Yin and the Yang. Oh, let's uh, remove this. Okay. Anybody have any question? I think we are basically done. Food is not, should not be only just delicious. It should be also healthy. So cook delicious, healthy food. And you will be the next Rachel Ray, our mother steward. Thank you so much. She is good. She saw it once, she knows how to do it. And that's why it's so wonderful to get your children, your grandchildren together and work with you in the kitchen because that would be the happy kitchen. A happy kitchen makes a happy family. Thank you so very much. And thank you, Ying. Thanks, Mother. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. So go home and work with your children and grandchildren. And we need to sign the bear. I will be signing the books outside. Okay. If anybody interested in the knife, you can have a sign up form over there. Oh, that's right, the knife. So let's, and let's, go sign the bear. Let's, let's sign the bear for the young lady. The young lady. Yeah. Where's the pen? I had the pen here. Where is it? Okay, come up here. Come up here and we'll sign it for you. Come. You sign first, you sign first. I'm signing at the back. I want to hold the 